What's going on guys? My name is Jacker Jack the Bus and today I'm bringing you a quick video on how to unlock every single multiplayer specialist in Blackout. They're now all available and all require different steps to unlock so I'm just going to jump right into it but before I do if you are new to the channel be sure to subscribe and hit that big boy bell so you don't miss my daily Black Ops 4 tutorials, guides, commentaries and more. Let's shoot for 50 likes and get started. So first up is going to be Ruin and you're going to find these punching mitts and once you find these punching mitts you're going to have to kill an enemy in close quarter combat which is melee and you're going to find these punching mitts on top of the cranes in the construction site. They'll always be on these cranes and you'll typically have to use Ruin's grapple to get up to them. Now since you have to kill someone with melee damage, my best recommendation is to find Brawler. This is going to help you out in the long run or you can just kill someone that's already knocked down. Then you just have to finish with them in your inventory and you're good to go. Next up is Firebreak. So with Firebreak you're going to find an item called a Burned Doll. Now once you find this Burned Doll you're going to be able to continue the steps which include confirming a kill or cleaning up a down player with fire and then just finishing with the Burned Doll in your inventory. So that's going to be like with a Molotov. So this may be a little bit more difficult so I would recommend playing with your friends and then just finishing a down player with a Molotov. Next up is Torque. Once you find the note from Torque you'll need to deploy two razor wires, a barricade, and then place in top 30. So you're gonna find this note in supply drops typically and with it should spawn the barricade and two razor wires so you can basically just drop them both right where they are so you get that out of the way and then you just have to place top 50. Next up is Crash. So for Crash you're gonna find these medic bags and then some of them are going to be poker chips. With these poker chips you're just going to need to end the match with 15 healing items in your inventory and place in the top 30. 15 healing items include 15 bandages, 15 med kits, either of those. Next up is Profit, and with Profit you'll need to find this prosthetic, have 3 perks active, and win the game. So this is going to be a little bit more difficult than all the rest of them, so it may just take a little bit more time. Next up is Ajax. So with Ajax you're going to need to find 3 destroyed armor platings and then just finish the game. So this one's going to be a little bit more easy. You're basically going to need to kill 3 people with armor on, and they'll drop these armor platings, and then you'll just basically need to stack them in your inventory and finish the game. Next is Recon. With Recon you'll find these coins and these supply drops drop type things and once you have those you'll be able to continue on to the next step which is avoiding collapse damage and placing in top 30. Collapse damage being zone damage to so just stay away from the storm. Next up is Seraph. So with Seraph you're going to need to land at firing range and find yourself a pistol. This can be any of the pistols and then you're going to need to shoot every target. Once you shoot the very last one if this black box is spawned it should spawn an annihilator in. Once you have the annihilator you'll have to kill an enemy with it and place in top 5. The box doesn't always spawn in firing range so you may have to go through several games. Next up is no Nomad. With Nomad you'll find these tags in certain supply drops and once you have these tags you'll move on to the next step which is killing three specialist enemies. So this is going to take a little bit more time because not everyone's going to have a specialist but you're going to have to kill three of them in the same game. Next is Battery. With Battery you're going to need to find a war machine in supply drops. This is going to be you know war machines grenade launcher and then you're going to have to move on to the next step which is killing two enemies with the war machine and then just finishing with it in your inventory. So yeah guys that's gonna be my quick guide on unlocking every specialist character in Blackout. If this video helped you out in any way be sure to like and subscribe as i post daily black ops 4 content you're not going to want to miss anyways guys i'll catch you in the next one peace peace